So it's like, like they're talking about right now is like a wooden door that they found that when you open it, it opens to another plane of reality where there's like what? beings living in there. Yeah. yeah. Should I tell there's, them, there's should I tell them the IKEA them. one? Because the that's IKEA the one's pretty one. great. Okay, so it's like SCP. Is this all bullshit? Yes. Some of it is bullshit. But some of it could some be of real. Is like, like, what if the you fuck is in weird shit? You might be like, okay, all right, I can actually see this. Well, thing I need to know existing. what we're talking about here. We're talking about like something that's like actually like They're, been documented stuff, or they, like, they or document it like, like it's real, and like some of them are really believable, but then other ones are really fucking out there like an abdominal planet like a dude wakes up one day and he's got a full planet in his abdomen but his guts are replaced <laughs> what yeah <laughs> yeah bro or a vending machine where you can type in any command to get whatever drink you want and the dude types in like the best drink ever made drinks it and commits suicide like three days later because nothing he knows could ever be better <laughs> 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 there's tons of them like so there, it's like scp 3200 and something okay right and from reports, the SCP got reports saying that there was suspicious activity coming from an Ikea store in, like, Portland. Okay. <laughs> so they sent their operatives out to investigate this Ikea. And what they found out is they sent in, like, ten different operatives and sent them in different sections of the store, like, spread them out. Uh-huh. And five of them never came back. They never left the store and were never found in the store. And they were able to make connection with them, and they learned that they had somehow got into this dimension that's infinite IKEA stores <laughs> 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 that go on for miles and miles and miles, and you never seem to find the end of this mm -hmm. IKEA store. Holy shit! And there's these guys with IKEA workers, but. They have no like defined features. They just got nubs for hands, nubs for arms, and nubs for heads, and they're just like so they're like, like mannequins. A nubby yep. person, mannequin. Yeah, exactly. Just Walking around in an IKEA shirt, and all of them are named like Jim or something. Really, and they're really cooperative during the day and like non-hostile and like want to help you. Like, oh, can I get you Here's some furniture? Couch. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? I would be so creeped out. And then they found out that. This wasn't the only IKEA store abducting people. There was multiple IKEA stores all over the world <laughs> that led to this one dimension of the permanent IKEA store. And the infinite IKEA store, I guess, really. And then in the end. And at night, Jim would become extremely violent and try to kill you for being in the store. So you'd have to be in your little like IKEA commune where you put a, yeah. together all kinds of like things to live in this little village of IKEA stuff. Yeah, and then you have to fight off the fucking employees at night. <laughs> it's like because the they fuck? never leave either. Yeah. And I guess the food would replenish every day. Like, you know, Ikea, oh. you can get food there. Oh, you they can. go so in-depth with all of it, too. Oh, dude, it's they, so they, crazy. From tip to toe, like, all right, this is how they contain it. This is how this happened. This is what we do. This Here's interviews from doctors and stuff. And it's like, I really want to believe this. <laughs> like, I really want to believe this.